material and lighting draft for this portion we're gonna start by editing the floor okay we can hit to corona material library and we can choose a, a floor that's pretty close to our reference right here okay it could be this or it could be this floor so i'm gonna select corona floor put it here and i apply it on the floor so as for this i would want to disable this and put it at i think this is fine as well is this okay nah it's wrong so for this we're gonna disable this put it at one okay it's gonna be somewhat like that um I'm gonna be putting it's fine okay so and for the skirting let's apply a white wood okay let's choose a white white wood mat so I apply it same thing click this disable the real scale Reward scale, put it at 1 and just isolate this and see how it looks mm, I think maybe I would like to scale this a little bit okay I'm gonna scale this put it at probably let's see how it looks and is it, is it? Okay, probably too big. Let's put it smaller. It's fine. It does look fine. Okay, it does look fine. looks okay as well yeah so maybe so I don't want the texture to be so obvious then probably I'm just gonna diffuse it by 50% and put it at 220 color so it should be just nice okay so now we would want to start interactive render and just to see how this floor looks okay so we would want to set up light mix okay generate it so when you were to click render setup start interactive hmm somewhat like that okay so this is how interactive looks so now we would want to put a little bit of lightings like sun and the uh, corona light for the exterior portion okay we'll start by putting the sun corona sun all right so that's probably sun like that this this kind of direction okay probably not too high lower i think this is a good 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 angle okay then we want to go to set it at 0 0.1 one is too bright and for the size we set it at 8 high numbers make it uh, shadow is not too hard and 0 or 1 it's gonna be very hard shadows okay we we'll set it like that and I set a like and I want it rectangle okay just set like that okay set it at 75 degrees and gizmo size to the one need to be too irritating okay as for this you would have to click the occlude other lights it's because if it occludes the sun rays 
couldn't penetrate this light. So when you disable that, your light is able to go through and you don't want this to be visible in your reflection or refraction so we just disable all of it okay so that's how it looks and we will try to set start interactive again likely it will be better right now start interactive okay pretty fine just that this portion is probably a little bit dark um all right so we will have to click set up light mix again because it's not updated for this portion you can see okay so we set up light mix okay so more of the lights are there right now Not interactive okay so you can choose to adjust your sun probably no 0.8 if it's one is zero, there's nothing, you know. We have one. Okay, let's just adjust until you find your ideal settings. Lightly, I want to remain it at 1.5. This is one. This is yeah. Pretty ideal, pretty ideal already. Okay, we we'll, we'll just settle with this for now. And you want to get close to this flooring. So the flooring doesn't have that much of strong texture as you can see here. We're going to adjust the bottom portion right here and do it like that. Probably this is like 60%. Put it at 15 percent yeah really close right yeah, maybe a little bit more yeah we got it very close already okay so this is it we'll floor so your floor is done okay so now we would want to edit the ceiling area okay so once this part is pretty much done you can just apply it into your scene so it adjusts back to your your settings each setting is changed accordingly yeah it was 10 earlier now it becomes 8 right so let's that's all for the draft for now all right so that's it and we'll hit for the next section